Euro 2024 final is in the books. España lifts the European Cup at the end of the day at the Olympic Stadium in Berlin. We got to see España play in the Olympic Stadium in Berlin against Croatia in the group stage. And they came out swinging uh, with two kids, Nico Williams, Yamal, uh, best team of the tournament. I don't think anyone would say they didn't deserve it unless you're English. <laughs> uh, an entertaining final. I really liked it. it. Like they came out early. They were swinging. It was brilliant football. I really enjoyed the finals. England will get to it. Heartbreak city, two finals, two losses. That's what happens when your manager is Gareth Southgate, huh? Uh, yeah. Ooh, ah, yeah. Ooh. Uh, great tournament. What a tournament. I mean, the best team of the tournament. And they were the best team by far. You know, they beat who they beat. They beat France. They beat a bunch of heavies on the run up into the, they beat Germany. It's like they were amazing all tournament. Like you said, we were lucky enough to be there. And they outplayed England. Let's be honest. Uh, rooting for England just because of Kobe and Shaw, but they got outplayed by a mile and they could have been a lot worse. So good on England to get there. What an unbelievable tournament. Like shout out to the Euros. Shout out to the Euros. Because it was such a fun tournament to be there for that weekend and just watching all the games at home also been great, minus the FS1 coverage. But the games have been excellent. <laughs> the pitches have been excellent. The refs have been excellent. And I'm all in for Euros, man. I'm going to every Euros now going forward because, dude, this is a proper tournament. Proper, proper tournament, proper host country, proper host fans. Like, that was amazing. That's what football's all about. No, it was incredible. I mean, going to, like, Obviously, talking about the final, but going to the tournament, unbelievable. My first time at the Euros, Berlin, like, loved the city. Everyone was so nice. Germany was amazing. Uh, like, you could see it through the TV. The fans were incredible. Like, and and the final was in insane. I, like, my heart wanted England just because they, they, they deserve something. I mean, they, like, <laughs> they're, it's just, like, kind of, like, sad to see. It's, like, a sad, like, it's just brutal. Makes you feel bad. You know? But, dude, your mind knows, like, hey, Spain's the best team. They're brave. They got young players who aren't afraid. Like, they took it to England. England just – that's why I that, – that, it kills me because you and me, uh, you know, like to watch England, like to support them. But it's like I view it just straight up, hey, Southgate makes these amazing players play in this way. And they came out and they defended against Spain. Uh, as soon as they scored the goal to get back in, I felt like they had a lot of momentum – they went right back and defended to go to penalties. We saw that with England at Wembley uh, in 2020. They did the same exact thing against Italy. They scored the goal. They had them. They had them on the ropes. They should have gone for it instead. Packed it in. Italy scored, and the rest is history. I feel like Southgate makes England play scared, and you saw it today. The team that didn't play scared won the tournament. Uh, and rightfully so. And England didn't play well uh, at all, really, leading up to the tournament. <laughs> I mean, like Harry, Ke <laughs> like true. in the, the, I think they won two of their seven games. Two of their seven games, they scored eight goals in seven games. Foden started every single game, no goals, no assists. Harry Kane missing. Harry Kane was not good this tournament. Southgate just didn't have uh, the cojones to make these big calls and like drop Kane for the final. And like when you're in these tournaments, you need to be able to do that. And England just has such a great team. I just don't know how it'd be really interesting to see what happens next with Southgate, but I, I feel for England people saying like Southgate's like this amazing manager. I, I think he can get this team playing better. I mean, look at the Spain side. I mean, England have a better squad than Spain. Spain yes. have an unbelievable squad. Those youngsters are incredible. Rodriguez is the best CDM in the world, but at the end of the day, England has the second strongest squad in the world behind France. And at the end of the day, it's not about just the players. It's about the team. And they came out and they played great football. And I like that word. They were brave. The kids were playing brave. The team played brave. And unfortunately, England, the squad and the team doesn't match up to the ethos of England, which is a brave country. And they should be bold and brave. And they weren't. Three under Lions. Dude, they exactly, man. And they're not bold under Southgate. And they're going to stick with them because they're going to stick with them, bro. And I can just see it a mile away. Um, and you know what? They should play better football because the only time they played decent football this whole tournament was when they were like chasing a lead and they were just throwing everything and the ch kitchen sink into trying to get back into the game. And actually, we saw that quite a bit with United. Like we started to play some good football sometimes last season when we were like desperate time and just trying to like get back into the game. 
Um, and they weren't that good. He made no bold changes. Like how does Cole Palmer not start? No, that's madness. And Foden wasn't that good. And Kane, I mean, Kane's, Kane should have been dropped. Like, obviously, I hate to say it. He's a great player, but he did not have a good tournament. Should have been dropped. So, hey, I was rooting for him. He's not a bad coach, but he's not an elite coach, and they're not going to win shit. They've shown it. Like they're not. He's going to keep getting you to finals, but then again, they had an easy run to the final, bro. They barely won against Slovakia. They got to make a change, just like the U.S. men's national team needed to make a change, sir. But he did fix England. I mean, they were getting embarrassed, and you know, Iceland, etc. Right. So there is something to say for that, but there's also the there's the manager to get the kumbaya vibes right, and then there's the manager to break through. And I feel like the Harry Kane problem like highlights why Gareth Southgate is holding the team back, right? And there are other tactical issues he has, but he's a little stubborn and maybe too loyal to certain players. But enough about England. I mean, like Nico Williams from Spain, what a player. Just and Yamal. I mean, they were the stars of the tournament. It was amazing to see them in person and to see them win it. These youngsters, just like Murata, so funny, like does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like Murata, Mur- like the ex Chelsea striker. Uh, but Rodri coming off halftime, I thought England were going to be able to go at Spain. They never did. Uh, but overall, entertaining game. The team that should have won the tournament did. You know, like I think they had two XG to England's, like pretty much nothing. Like, and you know, it doesn't discount what Gareth Southgate <laughs> did. Like you said, he got him to this place. They're in a good place. He's just not, you need to go the next level. Like, you know, it's like you just at a certain point. A team outgrows this manager, and he's just not the guy that's going to win title. Because this team is capable. They have the squad that should be able to win and go to every final and win every other. And, like, you got to start winning some of these. And I don't think he's got it. He'll get another chance at England. But, like, you know, at a certain point, you're going to squander some of these kids. It's like, you got how, exactly. how did Cole Palmer not start? It's true. It's like, what are you thinking? Like, he finally got around to Kobe, who had a quiet final. But, like... How did Cole Palmer not start? He came on and looked amazing because guess what? He's a hell of a player. And even when he played against us, I was like, holy shit, that kid's a player. Even though he looks like a goofball. So switching tack to United, you know, going into the United side of things, obviously we had uh, Luke Shaw, Cole Palmer. And Luke was great in the first half. Right. Luke Shaw got the start, which was good to see. And he didn't get injured, which is what you want. Um, So at the end of the day, like, good on Luke Shaw. Getting some minutes. Tough loss. Kobe Mainu got subbed. Didn't have his best stuff today, unfortunately. But it's a learning moment for the youngster. Hopefully that lights the fire in him to get better. We really need him this season in 24-25 for United. Yeah, and I'm just glad he won one of his two finals in the six weeks. And it was with United. It was with United. And like you said, he still played in a final. It It was definitely not his best game of the tournament, but it was hard for him to get involved because I think they played timid, and playing timid does not fit in with Menu. Shaw was arguably the English player of the first half. Now he got he was involved in the cooking of England in the second half, but he like he was shutting down Yamal in the first half. So we know how good Luke Shaw is. Luke Shaw is like one of the best left backs in the league when he's fit. It's just that he's seldom fit. So I love Big Luke. I love meat pie. I love eating meat pies myself. I'd eat a meat pie with him. He's but a good player. He's, he's a, a really great dude. Good he's a player. really, really good player. I, like I really think he was one of best, one of the better England players on the pitch today, and he makes England so much better to the point where like Southgate actually got that right, bringing him even he though he's injured. He like did. that, I will give credit to Gareth Southgate because Shaw was a difference maker, and we want to see him fit for the long term at United and be a difference maker for Manchester United, which has been tough, and we haven't seen it. And then. Uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe actually had a video encouraging England and told Shaw not to pull his hammy, which I thought was absolutely right. Where was he? Is he with the squad in Norway, or is he just chilling in some estate? Because he, 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 he ain't London. He ain't London. He ain't Monaco. Like, I was like, he looks so relaxed. He looked like he was just chilling in some Scottish countryside. I was like, oh my god, I want to be where Sir a Jim Bill, bro. But he looked. Didn't he look very relaxed in that video? Sir Jim, you're 71. I'm sure you have a lot of friends, but you need more. You need two you more. Gotta call me and Alex so <laughs> we can go hang out at the Scottish estate. I uh, exactly. <laughs> he looks like. Uh, He's winning sh- life. Shout out to Sir Jim. Uh, what a Euros. What a tournament. I feel like it's the opposite of what's going on at the Copa, uh, which is, uh, I hope we can turn that around before the World Cup in 2026. But we're going to the next Euros. 
It's going to be in Ireland, Scotland, and the UK in 2028. We'll keep you posted on all international tournaments going forward at the American Red Devils, but just a quick recap on the Euro 2024 final. 